Hey Tanner, Dave Shinsky, we're going to go over your full windup and your stretch. Uh, I really like the way that you're moving down the hill, and that's what we're going to go over first. Okay, so out of your full windup, um, you got the old traditional over the head. I really like it. Um, I think that you've gotten better at um, really trying to time up the glove and your front leg coming together. Um, so what I mean by that is as you come through um, and into your movement, okay, you have a fluid break. And um, I love the way that you're getting this uh, ball to uh, go trace your leg. I, I, I call it tracing your leg. And uh, you're very good at making that, um, that trace happen and just keeping your momentum going down the hill. So you can see that your back knee, your ankle, and your hip are really moving forward towards the, the plate and uh, you, you don't really lose any momentum. Um, your, your knee doesn't stop and uh, you do a really good job. Now, the one thing that, um, that I see is after foot strike, so a great position of foot strike, 90 degrees behind your head um, with the ball, front foot is, is good and open uh, towards the plate, uh, your back heel is turned towards second base and your hips are rotated uh, towards first and that's a really good that's a really good separation um, move what, what I mean by that is when I draw an angle okay of the ball to your foot to your back leg okay we have a pretty good angle let's go the other way sorry about that we have like a I would say a 52 51 um, degree uh, movement and, and, that, and that's pretty pretty good uh, considering uh, the age that you are at 11 and uh, moving forward uh, I, I, I think that you're, you're just going to get out a little bit further and create that stretch a little bit uh, a little bit better which is directly correlated with velocity um, now let's talk about what I want you to uh, improve on from this position all right, you're a really explosive kid and um, I, I see this a lot with guys that are really getting a lot of intent through the ball so um, I don't I don't mind it right now but if you um, as you get older and stronger um, this is going to put more and more stress on your elbow and I think that your dad has told me that you're experiencing a little bit of elbow pain after you pitch um, a big game okay so uh, we want to we want to eliminate this coming off the rubber all right or coming off the ground sorry let me let me clear that really quick coming off the rubber okay when the ball is still in your hand okay we want to stay connected to the ground when that ball is still in our hand now why do we want to do that is because it puts a lot of stress on the UCL the elbow all right um, when you're not connected to the ground uh, everything needs to be connected through uh, a line and that's pretty good but you can see that your knee is just kind of pulling ahead just a little bit okay and this happens on on all of these pitches here uh, but on this next one out of your out of your stretch you'll see uh, that uh, it's just a little bit better as you stay connected all right, everything looks similar. Okay, you land land on your um, on your flat foot, uh, hips open, ball at 90, glove in a great position. Okay, 24 opens up. Okay, but you come off just a little bit, and then you go back down, and then you come back up. So again, you're trying to stay connected, and you're really good uh, through your finish. Um, you're you're not stopping your arm and your elbow. Um, you're doing a great job, but but again, sometimes it's that strength factor of being 11, uh, you know, 12 years old, a little, little younger, and uh, you got to grow into that body and into your uh, and into your strength. So again, I know you're you're an explosive kid, and, and your t intent is really really good, uh, but watch how uh, you're coming off the rubber and pulling that knee a little bit forward. Um, I'm going to send you a, a few drills. Um, again the Superman drills if I haven't sent you that um, I will send you that Superman drill um, let me know if I, I haven't sent you it um, I have a few other drills that are going to help create this uh, this V shape okay so when we release the ball uh, this V shape so it should be just a back a little bit more this V shape uh, move 
of staying connected and, and, and down through the rubber. Um, but really great job, man. You look strong. You look aggressive. You look um, your moves uh, towards the plate are really great. Tracing tracing your back leg is awesome. Um, uh, the one thing that I want to just uh, get better is staying strong through that um, that back leg. And uh, I will send you a few drills and uh, and I'll type in a few comments to, uh, to for the reps and sets to work on them. But uh, either way, man, great job, and it's good to see you. Um, hope you're having a great, great summer and uh, starting school soon. All right, man. Uh, have a good day. Thanks, Tanner.